Okay. <laughs> One, I'm sorry. It took me so long to get this, even long by that being I didn't see it yesterday. But, um, I said when Battle Royale came out that that was my, one of my favorite Warner Over Yonder episodes. That was like one of my favorites. That was like the top. This just blew that one out of the freaking water. <laughs> oh my god, what the fudge can I say about this? Okay, this is what I can say. It's a musical. Pretty good one. It's hilarious. The point where the beginning, I thought it was like one of those little. I forgot what it was. It's like a. It was like a little. Wander of Yonder cartoon in between cartoons or something like that. Like it would show up like during the commercials and it would be different parts. It first started out like that where Wander's like chained up and Hater goes. Wonder, I finally have you. Now, while you're here, I have to tell you something. Like, I am going to ask you what this means. And he shows him a letter from Hater, which has, like, the, you know, the melting heart, which I liked. <laughs> Gosh, dang, I love this episode. Uh, has a melting heart, and Wander reads it. And Wander reads, like, I. I, Lord Dominator, want to see you, Lord Hair, see you on my ship at this time today. Which, one, he summarized it because he went, he zoomed real fast over like all the letterings and stuff. So I'm thinking, okay, we're missing something here. There's something in that letter we are not catching. And then they start breaking out in the song, and God forbid I try to sing any of this. Uh, <laughs> I've probably only seen one of them, but uh, something close to it. But Wander says, Tom Hater wants to date you. And Hater says, I know, but how am I gonna? But how am I? He says, Really? People said it wasn't like that, but I thought it was. And, and then they start singing where Wander tries to teach Hater how to ask a different question, ask questions about Dominator. So, and like, but every question he says is like, Who's your favorite skeleton killer? Who, who's the greatest in the galaxy? Who's this? Just keep, um, hate, um, Wander has him like in a, like a electric chair, so zapping him every time. And while that's going on, Peepers is devising a plan how to get in, how to destroy Dominator's ship. Mind you, this plan ends hilariously, but <laughs> um, while he's doing that, Sylvia breaks out of the jail because apparently. Wander and Sylvia have been able to sleep through being captured multiple times. <laughs> Sylvia breaks up and is like, oh, it's going to be one of those days. She she busts out. I thought she was going to say one of these episodes. I would have been kind of funny if she said that. But she busts out and then finds Peepers. <laughs> Peepers starts telling Sylvia about her pl about the plan, saying, because I guess she, he just needs someone to talk about or... Um, Sylvia Ponson's like, you know you're not going to be able to do that, right? She's like super strong. And basically Peeper says, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that thing that he had in the toy car, whatever it was, the car, the action figure, the the ice thing, he's going to shove it into the core of the hater, um, Dominator ship when they go to visit see her. And then he he's going to basically freeze her, freeze the core of the ship. Sylvia so says, so they start singing this. And, like, and also it's the same song that, uh, well not the same song, but it's the same... Well, it's the same instrumental song as um, uh, the Banana Guys song. It's the same instrumental song that Sylvia and Peeper sing, which, uh, honestly, it was kind of cool. It's like hearing different lyrics to it. But um, but it's not you know, like, you know, like exact same. But uh, it's not the exact same. Like, it's not like the lyrics are the same. The lyrics are like basically completely different. Um, so he, so Peeper starts singing about that. And Sylvia's like, did you just sing that? He's like, no. And then Pe so we start singing her part of like saying you won't be able to get your thing to the center of the earth or some crap like that because this is the center of the ship because you will have to bl because you have to get past all these watched up you have to get back all these lava robots and peepers just goes no no i got well but you can and then gives her these ga giant golden gauntlets and says take these take these gauntlets and use them for use them with your powers to destroy them like with your strength, you can fight them off. And so we're like, no, no, that's insane. That's crazy. And Peepers goes, either do this or Dominator's gonna take over the galaxy. Do this or um, yeah, do this or Dominator's gonna take over the galaxy. So what are you, a man or a Warnack? And she grabs the things 
and it just lights him up. I'm like, that's cool. Also, mind you, um, Peepers also said she, he didn't know what Dominator's endgame was because she kept destroying planets instead of conquering them. So then we cut back to Wanderer and Hater where they're singing still, and then finally, like what Hater keeps ask, Hater keeps asking dumb questions like, "Who's what's your favorite skeletal like knee shooting guy?" And Wander shocks him one more time, and then Hater busts out. He's like, "No, this is hard. This is stupid. I I need to know, like, like, like ask like, what is your favorite thing to do? What is this? If I would know that, I would know what to ask her." And Wander goes. <gasps> Hater, you're saying you're asking questions that aren't about yourself. And Hater's like, oh. <laughs> so Wanda's like, I think you're ready. The two then go. <laughs> the two then, the uh, Wander. Also, I forgot to mention. Um, Peeper says when um Sylvia asks, how are we gonna destroy? How are we gonna destroy these? How are we? Gonna, how are you gonna get past all the magma robots? He says, "With my impenetrable watchdog army." And so he goes, "That watchdog army." And there's a camera viewing like everything that Wanderer and Hater are seeing about. And there's a scene where the the, the Wanderer's doing the can can with the freaking uh, watchdogs, and they're shaking their butts in front of the camera. I'm like, oh, oh, this is this is so stupidly funny. <laughs> We cut back to after the question thing. They go on to Dominator ship. This is like an entire 30 minute episode. They go on to Dominator ship. Um, and basically they're led to the throne room where you see it domi- where you, what you think is Dominator in the giant suit of armor. Which mind you, when they walked in, I looked at them thinking, wouldn't it be hilarious if she wasn't in that armor at all. And then, <laughs> But I'm thinking, no, because the arms are made of magma, so they would have to stand like that. But whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dom, so Hater then brills out this entire song where Dom, Hater walks up to Dominator, uh, what he believes is Dominator, sitting in his throne, which the throne is like completely filled with like magma around, and it's like just a small little thing that leads up to the tr- throne. Like a pathway leads up to the throne, and Dominator Hater goes up to him and goes, <clears throat> hey, Dominator, I have to ask you something. Lights go out, and I thought I was just gonna be like, do or something like that. Like he's gonna start singing, of course. But I thought it was gonna be like just like like maybe a picture of him like slowly fading in as he sings. No, it's him laying on top of a piano singing while. Pi- while Wander um, plays the piano, I'm thinking, oh, oh, this is funny. And then it switches like to a, a not a Russian, no, uh, like a quartet kind of thing. Well, he's dressed like it with like the red and white striped shirt, the little circle hat. Um, he starts singing basically, oh, I want to ask you a question. Da, 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 da. Would you like to go? Would you like to be with me? What's your favorite drink and a coffee or something? Start singing all that, all that, <laughs> and then as he's singing all this, he then he then has a fantasy sequence where he's has all the watchdogs. It's like it's all like a play too. It's not like a fantasy sequence right off the back. It's like he's walking in front of a background that's actually like a thing that's being pulled around. Um, there's like lights, um, the watchdogs are like moving trees to make it look like he's walking like, Oh, would you like to walk through a park? <laughs> and all that jazz, which was hilarious. Um, and like one point he runs off screen and goes to Wanda and goes, <laughs> Are you, um, I think she really likes it. And, you know, you just see Hater there just sitting there like this. So I'm thinking, Hater, well, Dominator's probably, I'm surprised Dominator hasn't kicked the crap out of them yet. Or, you know, just like slapped them out way. And, um... Hater then continues singing the song and then has the fantasy sequence where <laughs> which mind you I'm watching this and like the only only part that actually I thought felt a little more like Dominator because like throughout this entire thing it was what um Dominator saying we can both be ruling the galaxy uh and like the, he shows like statues, like how he always had his statue with his arms up, and said it's the statue with him with his arm up, and then then um, a Dominator draped over Hater. And I'm thinking, 
No, no. Though I know relationships are supposed to be kind of you know, balanced and everything. But Dominator with Hater, if that ever, ever happened, which I doubt, if that ever happened, it would, Dominator would be the most, Dominator would be the dominant part of that relationship. <laughs> Dominator would be the one with her arm up in the air and Hater would be draped over her. And basically at one point, in this song, Dominant, Hater sings, like, Hater singing, and, like, there's a scene where um, Hater and Dominator are on top of a planet, and Dominator looks like he's gonna kiss her, like, with arm down and everything, but then it flips where Dominator's doing, like, I'm like, that's the only part of this song where Dominator would, where that, like, that's how Dominator would probably play it if she ever got with Hater. <laughs> but he sings this entire thing, and then at the end, he, he awkwardly asks, uh, do you might want to get a coffee or anything? Because you're the greatest in the galaxy. They say he basically says that Dominator is the greatest in the galaxy. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm missing anything, but then right after that, the door opens up behind Hater. They all look, and Dominator walks in in like a bathrobe and her hair up in like the the towel, and she's like, "Oh, what are you guys doing here?" And Hater goes, oh, you, 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 ah, dang, frame rate dropped. Um, he goes, oh, but you asked me to come here, let her, and, and Dominic goes, oh, okay, yeah, all right, just give me a moment. We're like, we're, Hater's like, wait, what, why are you here? With you, you're up there, and it goes, um, that's my armor, you idiot. <laughs> she doesn't say idiot, but she's like, that's my armor. <laughs> she's like, and basically, and basically, then she's like, "Oh right, that oh, that thing was today." Oh, okay, so hater, so Dominator walks past Hater, throws her a cup of coffee, not on him, but like she already drank it, and threw get through the cup, and Hater catched it. And she throws off her towel, so apparently she was naked for like a second. <laughs> oh, she walks. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, that's just funny. But she walks up off screen, I mind you. She walks up and gets the armor on and goes, "All right, I'm here to accept your surrender." And Dominate and Hater goes, wait, what? <laughs> and saying, well, for like all these other idiots, she pulls away the lava and it turns out there's all every bad guy that we've seen throughout the series. I don't know if there was any new ones, but every bad guy throughout the series is there. And he goes saying, yeah, like these idiot, like these chumps telling me I'm telling me these chumps. Out of all of them, Hater's the only one who hasn't um who hasn't surrendered to me. Also, wanders through this entire time, but it is more is. Wanders in it, but he 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 doesn't. I don't think he has that Monday lines. He has a few songs, but like the beginning song, and like the last song. But um, this is more or less a hater and wander episode, which is pretty nice to see. Um, Dominator goes, "Yeah, you're the only one who hasn't um said told me I was the greatest in the galaxy." And surrendered. And hater goes, "Oh wait, there's a whole thing about you being the greatest in the galaxy." This song, hurry. Hurry, music. One, two, three. Dominator has none of this. <laughs> As Dominator shoots her ar her lava hands, grabs Wander, grabs Hater, and pulls them up to her. And goes, I... <laughs> she, ba she basically says, I don't care. Don't sing. I don't care. Uh, and she says, I don't care. And also, while this is all happening, of course, Peepers is um, Peepers and Sylvia are breaking into the the core where uh, Peepers and Sylvia run into no robots or anything. Lava ro lava bots ro walks into the core, walks the core, and goes, "All right, this is gonna be easy as one, two, three. Presses one, two, three is the code. I don't know why Dominator's code was one, two, three, but whatever. It goes one, two, three, four. And the doors open up, and then Sylvia looks, and there's robots everywhere. Goes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> and then Sylvia just runs in and starts fighting them. And then Hater goes saying, "But I, I wanted to ask if you wanted to go out with me." And the, to Dominator, we cut back to that. I'm sorry. And it's like Game of Thrones. Um, <laughs> Dominator starts laughing. Dominator's like, "Look." I never want to go out with you. I'm never going to do that. You know why? Because I'm the bad guy. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Because <laughs> I'm the bad guy. Which she then 
sings a song, which she started singing the song, which I thought, eat your heart out, Elsa. And then with the ending, made it so effing ironic that I said that, but I love it. Because <laughs> I, I first said it because, you know, magma, magma character, female character. Uh, but she basically sings, I'm the bad guy. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. Do no, I'm not part of your gang. We're not buddies or friends. We're, I'm the bad guy. And they, she pulls back the curtains of all the villains and the villains all go, she's the bad guy. <laughs> and she even goes, all of these, all of these um, chumps all kneel before me. They, why? It's not a rap, FYI. She goes, you know why? She takes, Cap Captain Awesome actually kneels down in front of her and, Cap and she takes his crown, puts it on her head because you know why? Because I'm the bad guy. And they all start singing, she's the bad guy. And she basically straight up sings, I don't care about controlling. I care about co I don't care about conquering, I care about destroying. And we cut back to Peepers while the song is playing, if I remember correctly. Peepers like, oh my gosh, she doesn't want to rule the galaxy. She just wants to destroy it. That's evil. <laughs> Says the bad guys. Quote, unquote, bad guys. And <laughs> Dominator just keeps singing. She keeps singing like the song. She grabs Wander's banjo and snaps it in half. Gosh dang it, frame rate, stop dropping on me. But just takes the freaking um, banjo, snaps it in half, and just goes, I'm the bad guy! Throws the banjo, uses her magma powers, fl like, swings them around this one thing, and br like, he grabs Wanderer and H Hater, throws them around this, like, pole, and h dangles them over magma, and goes, I don't care who you, I don't care what, what you want? I'm not your friend. I'm not your rival. I'm not going to be your uh, partner. I am the ruler. I'm not. She basically straight up says, "I'm not the damsel in distress. I'm not the person. I'm not the. I'm not." She says, "I'm not the damsel in distress. I'm not the one that needs saving. You guys are the ones who are going to die because of this." Which, mind you, now I kind of just got a theory about that. But, <laughs> uh, but she, yeah, she's basically saying, "I don't care who you are. We're gonna." I'm gonna destroy you all. I'm gonna destroy everything. It slowly lowers them to lava. And while this is happening, also she says, "Why conquer a planet when I can destroy it?" And there's like a heart planet underneath the ship. You see this freaking pole—not pole, but like the drill—stab into the top of the heart and slowly suck out the magma from inside of it. You slowly see the heart shrink. She's like, "I love to sink it. Shrink. I love to sink." I love to see one. I th one. I don't know if Disney might have censored them a little bit. Told them, no, no, no you can't say that. Cause she said, they, she said, I love to let them shrink. I love to see. Th I thought she was gonna say, I love to see them die, <laughs> but she says instead, I love to see them cry. I'm like, I think, say, I think, sh I think they wanted to say die, but Disney's like, no, you can't say that word. <laughs> So, so Dominator looks basically like she's going to kill Hater and Wander, lowering them into the lava, saying, you guys can't beat me because I'm the most evil there is. You can't destroy me. And then, mind you, and then Peepers then threw, Peepers, um, after, um, after what looked like the magma bots just, like, encased peepers and sylvia they bust out at one point and grab the you know the ice thing and throw it into the core and you slowly see the core start freezing and peepers goes we gotta get out of here sylvia now and they start running they start running as the ice starts slowly freezes the core and slowly starts creep freezing out throughout the ship and it dominates just keep saying I'm the bad guy not the saying that she only repeats I'm the bad guy but it's, it's pretty good where she I love how she says she's not the damsel in distress she's not the one looking for love or whatnot I believe she says that but like she's like I'm not the damsel in distress I'm not the one you're supposed to I'm not the one that um I'm not the one that's gonna be your buddy or your friend or your rival I'm the one who's gonna destroy you <laughs> and so Dominator D Dominator's about to kill them before she hears, eh, 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 
and she's like, oh, dang it, something's wrong. Hold on. <laughs> whips them back, back, and whips them back, and just throws them against like in a cell with the watchdogs. And goes, I'll be back in a minute to destroy you. Make sure you practice your screams of terror like, Oh my gosh, no! Or, Ah, don't hurt me! You know, something original. <laughs> it's not too bad, you know, having a little scream every now and then for you guys to scream, hear me hear your screams of suffering. So she leaves. And the door for the cell slowly starts closing. The watchdogs run out and Wander tries to, like, Get Hater moves like, come on, Hater, we have to evac you, wait. I say evac, you say eight. Evac. And he tries to pull Hater, and it just, like, doesn't work, and the door closes. And Dom and, and Hater just start singing, what's the point? There's no, I don't need to. What's the point? She doesn't like me. I lost, and all this stuff. And then, like, um, that's, like, a little quiet moment. Um, H Wander goes up, to, finds his banjo, which is all jacked up, broken. But then he just... Bends it into place. Mind you, this banjo must be magic also because the strings were also ripped. But as soon as he bunked it back into place, it reattached themselves. Unless he has like the He-Man powers where he like just takes two pieces of a chain and go, Tink! Done! But, so, he starts singing a song like, Cheer up, my dear Haiti, which is the name of the episode, Dear Haiti. And just starts playing and goes singing, Oh, this ep, oh, you're such a good guy, but look at everything we've done. We've kind of started becoming buddies or something like that. He started seeing like how they started becoming buddies that like he didn't need Dominator. That um, that Dom it's probably best that they didn't get together since Dominator would, you know, everything. So she's trying to destroy everything. And mind you, also, um, while this is all happening. Dominator's ship is slowly getting iced over, and the entire time this is happening, I'm thinking, oh, this is a nice song, but I'm also thinking, holy crap, Dominator, stop this, don't let your ship blow up. <laughs> I was rooting for the person who straight up says she's the bad guy, and I'm just thinking, oh, Dominator, don't, no, no, don't die, or don't die, don't lose, I want to see more of you, don't leave, <laughs> you're like one of my favorite characters, and basically back to wander and hater wander's still singing about all this and saying we're kind of practically becoming buddies and hater it's like no we're not becoming buddies and he keeps going to each corner of the cell and, and wander keeps saying buddy like we're being buddies and hater goes like this but like he's like just he go over his hands like, if you say buddy one more time buddy Start shooting lightning everywhere, busts a hole, and then it's like freaking um Wiley Coyote versus <laughs> Wiley Coyote chasing the Roadrunner. Wander is just running like, oh, we're becoming buddies, <laughs> we're very good buddies. <laughs> and he's like, stop saying we're buddies. Starts chasing after shooting his lightning, and basically chases them into Sylvia and Peepers. And Wander goes, buddy! And they hug each other. And then uh, Peeper goes, oh, that's great. That's great, you buddies, but we gotta get out of here. We gotta we gotta get out of here because I don't want to die. But, and then Hater goes, but they keep calling us buddies! And basically then they start running as the ice starts coming towards them. Like, oh, crap! They And so he goes, if we're buddies or not, get on my back. We're running out of here. And then they start running. The ship is freezing over. Dominator goes to the core, looks, and sees, like, the ice coming. Like, she's like, oh, fudge. <laughs> she doesn't say fudge. But she's like, oh, that's basically what she wanted to say. She, well, she wanted to say the F word. <laughs> she's like, oh. <laughs> she runs back to her base as, like, everything starts freezing over. She starts messing with the computer, trying to save it. Wander, Sylvia, um, Hater, and Peepers bust out through the ship as the entire ship freezes over and you see the ice start forming over the computers and everything and Dominator's quickly trying to press the buttons to try to stop this from happening and she's like no 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 and you see the ice cover over her and I'm like I'm like no Dominator no don't die on us I'm like it'd be kind of morbid if that's how she died or if that was like the ending I'm like oh that sucks and I'm thinking oh fudge me she's gonna die isn't she <laughs> and then Wander and Sylvia and all, Wander, Sylvia and Peepers all 
get out of the bubble, or get formed into a bubble, and they float away, and they float back to Hater's ship with it, where I think they're like they're saying like we did it, but then they look at a Dominator ship, and you see like red and bzz, 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 turn black. And I'm like, no, Dominator, don't leave us. <laughs> then it turned. Then like it started like I'm thinking is it gonna like explode not explode but, like explode in the magma and then like it's still gonna it's gonna be like even hotter it's gonna be hot again but no it turns blue and then it turns red again and then it turns blue again I'm thinking what? did did they give her ice powers <laughs> yes they freaking did they cut to inside the ship and Dominator's going. <laughs> Like fire in one hand, ice in the other. And I'm thinking they just made her even more awesome, and makes the frozen joke I made earlier way, way more ironic that I said it. But um, hater, hater's like, oh, she got ice powers and fire powers. Nope, we're done. We're done. We can't do this anymore. We lose. Also, that was after I think Wander Wander said we're, we're buddies and we're buddies, and then Hater Hater and Peepers goes we're not buddies. <laughs> and they leave, and then Hater and this like after the ice thing happens, uh, Hater's like that's it, we're done, game over, we lost. And Peepers goes, no sir, there's one thing you're forgetting. And Hater's like, why? What's that? You're the greatest in the galaxy. And Peepers starts seeing how he, Hater's the greatest in the galaxy. Sylvia then starts singing how Wander's the greatest in the galaxy, and you know, the song is kind of, you know, passing back and forth. And then, like, the ending being Hater going, uh, Hater going, um, you, that's right, I'm gonna save these planets so I can conquer them! And they're like, yeah! And, um, and hey, Wander's like, we're gonna, s and Sylvia goes, that, um, one that Wander was, Wander says that he was wrong about Dominator. And Sylvia says, "That's good, buddy. Knowing that you're wrong, because because that's that's the way we can start getting things fixed. Now we can start getting things. Once you know that something's wrong, you can start getting you start figuring out how to fix it. And then they, they get, then they keep saying, "We're you're the greatest in the galaxy, peepers and haters. You know they're singing it all together. Peeper, hater, Sylvia, and Wander are all singing. We're the greatest in the galaxy. And then what?" <laughs> And then Dominator just zooms in and goes, Stop singing! Starts <laughs> shooting fire and ice at them from her ship. And they have the two um, hater ship and hater and peepers and wander and Sylvia just dart, dart off in opposite directions. Then cut to like the end credits where um, Dominator's sitting around her ship just vacuuming or polishing things. And she goes, and she's singing the song, You're the greatest in the galaxy. And then she starts singing, like, going, Gosh dang that song! And, like, that's the end of the episode, because it's like, it's a dang that catchy tune! And just ends there, and I'm just thinking, Oh lord, I love this. <laughs> also, and that kind of, it also kind of, uh, at least to me, kind of fits a little bit more with the whole thing I was saying, like, Dominator is straight up alone. She has no one with her other than her robots. And, like, that's it. Nothing else. Only her robots, which is extremely sad. But also, like, is the thing, like, there's still more to this character that we still haven't seen yet. And also, I want to know what the heck's going to happen now that all of the evil villains, all of them, or at least from what we've seen, all of them are captured now, except for Hater. And now Hater's gonna be kind of become kind of an anti-hero, trying to help save the planets from being destroyed because Dominator does not want to conquer. She wants to destroy the galaxy, which I I am sure like they're like they say like again, like watching watching this and like how she sings like how she says like she's just straight up evil. She just wants to destroy the galaxy and everything. I feel like she. Like read the script for Wander Over Yonder or something. Like I could take over these planets. <laughs> like she 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 read like a summary about like a Wander Over Yonder. Or, like read the script about it. And just like I could take over these idiots. They're all staring stupid, and just like jumped in, and just started taking over. Like 
is just so awesome. Dominator is one of my favorite, favorite characters in this. Gosh dang it, frame rate, stop it. Um, but I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but. Oh my gosh, the this sh this show is just awesome. Check it out for yourself. If you have not, have not seen any of this show, check it out for yourself. This show is freaking amazing. I love it. Maybe now that Gravity Falls is done, and I'm not sure if Star Wars The Force is Evil is ever gonna, coming back. If it does, all right, but the writing in that didn't feel the greatest. Like, if anything, Wander Over Yonder, like, if anything, wa Star Wars The Force of Evil should have been something like Wander Over Yonder, where they're going to alternate dimensions every episode or something. Or, better yet, it should have been something more like Doctor Who, going like, to other dimensions and stuff like that. Yeah, I would say, no, Wander Over Yonder stays at itself. I don't want, like, another carbon copy of Wander Over Yonder, because Wander Over Yonder is just so dang awesome, but... The difference between, like, Star vs. the Forces of Evil and Wander Over Yonder is probably, like, the bad guys in Wander Over Yonder each have their own memorable, each have their own gimmick, each have their own thing with them. Their designs are hilarious, but also still, like, okay, they're a bad guy because they're, like, basically bullies and stuff like that. Or you have, like, darker characters where one possesses another being and stuff like that. You have these dark, dark characters. You have some... Not dark characters. You don't have these dark, dark characters. You have these comedic bad guys. You have these comedic bad guys who are also memorable. Mind you, like... Oh, yeah, you have memorable, like, Captain like Captain Awesome. You, if you know Captain Awesome, you're going to remember his theme song. If you remember the Black Cube of Death, you're going to remember him speaking in Latin. You're, if you... If you remember, um, what's his face? Uh, let me see. Um, that one dude with a teapot on his head. That he's not really a good villain. You, um, the banana guy. Uh, the evil sandwich. You can remember things. Evil sandwich. Um, you can remember these villains. You can remember. You can remember who these characters are, and such. Star vs. the Force of Evil, which, mind you, if you like Star vs. the Force of Evil, I, I had I had high hopes for that. Like, I had high hopes for that show. Like, I listened to that theme song when I first heard it. I'm like, oh, crap, this theme song is kind of awesome. Um, and I watched, like, every episode that came out so far. But their villains... What is it? In Ludo. You have the villain Ludo, who, basically, by the end of the season is basically you just see he's a stupid character he's just a st and i don't and like that's kind of the point he's supposed to be a stupid character but like the difference between like ludo and lord hater would be both of them act childish but hater seems to do it a little bit better like he's he's acts childish but childish but he acts like a stereotypical bully and where he thinks he's the biggest and greatest character biggest and greatest character and he you know he has the rough voice he has the big muscles and stuff but he's a dork but he's a dork which i like ludo is just like it's mine i want to take the wand so i can meet a ruler it's mine 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 which gets freaking annoying and then what are the bad guys the only other two bad guys I can actually think that are bad guys and that aren't henchmen. Because the henchmen, they have, like, the chickens and stuff like that. It's like, sure, yeah, you remember them, but, like, what do you remember of those other characters that, of, like, Ludo's henchmen? One of them was, uh, one of them was, uh, uh a Russian frog guy. And then another one was a chicken, another one was a bear or unicorn and stuff. You don't know much other than that they're monsters and that they're... Ludo's bad guys. Then you have... Then you have, like, um... Toffee, who's, like, probably the most evilest character they're gonna have. Which, mind you, if you haven't seen my theory on him, check it out. But... We see him, and, like, of course, we already know straight up that, okay, he's manipulating Ludo so that he can take over. Alright, we got that. 
and again, they kind of force some things like, oh, why is he missing a finger? I'm sorry if you, like, you saw my one video about that, and, like, because I went on an entire rant about that, but, like, oh, why is he missing his finger? Like, they keep showing it, like, in camera, like, stop it! We just, let us see a bit of it, and let us c come up with our own conclusions about that, and then slowly tell us as the story progresses. Don't just shove it, missing finger! Um, missing finger! Reverse my fingers, show! Reverse them! Get it? Because these would be... No. <laughs> but, and then, like, you have, like, the boarding school, which was, which was, like, something they were building up, but then, like, it's straight up, like, yeah! I'm like, okay, that's just dumb. You were building this up. This should, like, if anything, that should have been, like, a two-part episode of them trying to break out of there or something. I don't know, maybe season two of Star vs. Force Evil will get better. There's an announced that her wand is broken. But yeah, I feel like her wand being broken probably should have been something that happened like in the first episode. But then like broken, then like her magic powers are limited and stuff like that. But whatever. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about um, Wander Over Yonder. Tell me what you guys like about Star vs. Force Evil. But like, yeah, I think Wander Over Yonder does a little bit better because... The characters, the bad guys are much more memorable in my case. And they just don't seem like, oh, this is her thing. This is her thing. No, like, Captain Awesome's, like, the cool kid, but he's kind of stuck up and stuff. Hater's the guy who wants to be a bully or wants to be a big, tough guy, but he's not. And then Dominator. <laughs> Dominator is the one who would take over everything. She uses what she has to... Mind you, like, it's not so much like... Again, if I want to put... If I want to do the whole, like, high school thing and stuff like that... Wander... Wander and Hater are brothers. Wander always trying to be friends with his older brother. Um, Sylvia is the one who protects Wander from bullies and bad guys... From the bullies and such. Peepers is the one who feeds Hater his ego... To try to help him up, even though that Peepers is probably way smarter than um, Hater, but they're the two outcasts, so they kind of they they kind of formed a bond together, which kind of helped. Then you have then you have um, Captain Awesome, who's the popular jock kind of character. You have um, the popular jock kind of character. You have. Evil, I'm not sure if Evil Sandwich would somehow fit into that, but Evil Sandwich would be, mind you, I can all see this happen like, like the Amazing World of Gumball world. Like if they were want to do a parody of the Amazing World of Gumball, all of the characters in Wander Over Yonder would fit so dang well. Yeah. <laughs> then of course we have Dominator, to where I wouldn't say she was because I said like she, last time she's the goth or whatever, but like. I would say she's the pretty. She's the one girl that all of the, every like every guy in the school wants, and she knows this, and she uses it to her advantage to take over the world. And mind you, I'm not saying like she's a seductress or whatnot, but she knows that if she has leverage on you, she will use that against you because she knows that she is smarter. She knows that she is stronger than you. And therefore, she is going to take over. But, and I don't mean like the whole like, oh, blonde, like, oh, Brittany, oh, I'm so popular and stuff. No, she's more or less like she would make that person, that like cheerleader character, get knocked down um, the skate, get knocked down from top of the class all the way down to the bottom. Mind you, I'm going by like 80s high school, like stereotypical rules, which this takes a I'm pretty, like this has a lot of stuff from like the 80s and 90s, mostly 80s. But so like I'm I, that's where I'm taking this from, FYI. But that was just so dang like that's where I would see this. But either way, fun episode. Check it out for yourself. Definitely freaking check it out. I want to go watch the episode just Dominator singing part because that's like one of my favorite parts. But yeah. But either way, thank you everyone so much for watching. Watch out my videos that I've done. Please link description below. Please check out all my videos. Fun, fun episode. One of my favorites. Battle Royale is now probably second to this, or if there's someone even. But no, I love this because 
Dominating and singing herself, which is awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please check out all my videos, and we will see you later.